Shalom, royal family. The class you are about to hear is taught by the Honorable Yudhe Wafe, Beit Nun Silfi Yudhe Wafe, many years ago. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Visit us at www.yahweh144000.com. Also, royal family, you can enroll in classes designed for the Godhead at www.universityofyahweh.org and also royal family and friends we want to share with you Yahweh's keys to riches and on that YouTube channel you can listen to Yahweh's daily word and keep up with the correct solar time each and every day we'd like to see you there as well go to Yahweh's keys to riches it's in the description below so that you can join us there as well remember when you get there just like here remember to like share and subscribe to our channels all right royal family we look forward to seeing you there as well Matthew 24:30. This is truly the one I wanted before I quit. Matthew 24:30. Read. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. But they are mourning. Wouldn't you think the earth would be happy to see this sign? Why are not all the tribes of the earth joyful? Satan has deceived the whole world. <laughs> Revelation 12 now. That's why they're not happy. Let's find out why the earth is not happy. To see me come back. To see me come with the clouds. I myself am the sign. I am the sign. <laughs> When I come publicly announcing the name Yahweh, that's the sign. And it's also the end sign. You're looking for the sign of Jonah? You have seen the end sign. The end of all the signs is my coming proclaiming the name Yahweh. You're not going to get no more signs beside me. Read. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Who deceived the whole world? Is the world deceived? How did they deceive the whole world? They took the knowledge of Yahweh out of the education of people. So the people are destroyed for the lack of the knowledge of Yahweh. That's how the people of the earth are destroyed. They are deceived by not having the knowledge of Yahweh. The nations know the name of God is Yahweh, but they don't have the knowledge of the name. So we have to baptize all nations in the name. 
For the whole head is sick and needs to be healed. From the bottom, the sole of the foot means the bottom of most people. The sole of the foot means the bottom of most people. All the way to the top, rulers are sick. We are chosen to be the ruler, but we are on the bottom of everybody else. Everybody walks on us. Now I am making my appearance. I am being made manifest. The healer. I am the healer. The redeemer. The restorer. The reformer. The generator. The self illuminator. The messiah. The savior. The one. The holy one of Israel. The king of all the earth. Lift your voice in triumph. This is a weight class. How many are beginning to feel better right now? You should feel better now. Because all the time I'm speaking to you, I'm healing. And so it's a blessing for me to just wave my hands and bless you. I'm blessing you when I do that. That's the blessing. If the Pope and other people can raise their hand and say they bless you, how much more power does the Son himself have to bless you? If people can bless you in the name of the Son, how much more blessing do you have from the Son himself? It is a blessing to have the Son of Yahweh just glance in your direction. If you can catch my eye past by your direction, you are blessed beyond all measure to know the Son God himself is looking at you. If 800 million people consider it a blessing to kiss the hands of the Pope, how much more important is it to kiss the hand of the Son of God himself? People feel blessed to kiss the hand of a man that talk about the Son. How about the Son being here himself? Whose hand do you really want to kiss? You consider your sins can be forgiven by confessing to a man. How much more important is it to confess to the Son of Man, the Son of God, God Himself? How about Him hearing your confession? You don't have to settle for a substitute. The real man is here now. I'm the real one. Substitute sugar. Don't give me no substitute honey. I want the real honey. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I am manifested to take away your sin. <laughs> and whichever ones of you abide in me will not sin. And if any one of you sin, it's because you can't see me. I'm in I John chapter 3, verse 6, in case you don't know where I am. The only way you are a sinner is you can't see me. And you don't abide in me. 
But if you abide in me and you can see me, you will not sin. If you sin, you've never known me. You may be in here with white on, but if you're breaking Yahweh's laws, you don't know me. You see a body that everybody else says is Yahweh bin Yahweh. You hear me say that I'm Yahweh bin Yahweh. But if you continue to sin and break Yahweh's laws, then you don't know me. Not really. To know me is to not break Yahweh's laws. You don't see that? Oh, okay. Read verse 6. I'm sorry. You think I'm making this up? Read. Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth has not seen him, neither known him. How many admit you can see, perceive that I'm teaching you right? That I'm teaching you what is good? That I'm teaching you perfection? The only way that I can do that, the only way that I can do righteousness is that I'm righteous. And if you do righteousness, you are righteous. If you know me and do righteousness, it's because you're righteous. You are righteous because you know me. And you want to be as I am. That's the purpose of my being made manifest and appearing. So that you can know what you will be and should be and how to be. So although you're little children and Satan has deceived the whole world, I'm here to say to you tonight, let no man deceive you any further. Let no man deceive you any further from tonight. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as Yahweh ben Yahweh is righteous. Oh, that's in verse 7. Excuse me. Read. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. This is incredible. Now, if you commit sin, you are of the devil. If you break Yahweh's law, you are of the devil. Did I say you are the devil? No. I did not say you are the devil. I said you are of the devil. Now what does of mean? I think I better look up O-F tonight. Because I want to be healed when I finish this. I want you to be healed tonight. Can any of you begin to feel like you're being healed? <laughs> See, the whole world needs this healing class. It's amazing what the world is missing. Read. Uh. Oh. All right. Now, if you commit sin, if you break the law of Yahweh, it's coming from the devil. The ones who teach you in the public school, their teaching is of the devil, Satan, that old serpent, the one called the dragon, the thief, the enemy of Yahweh and his son, his children. It's obvious that if I were in control of the public school, what would be the knowledge taught in those schools? The knowledge of Yahweh. Then there would be no sick people. All children would not only be prepared a meal while they're too young to know how to prepare a meal, righteously. Then they would grow up to learn my recipe, how to prepare a righteous meal, all their cookbooks would be righteous cookbooks designed, written, and prepared for the health of all who eat it. Consequently, they and their children, as my children are, 
would be righteous. And all of their eating and drinking habits would be righteous. Right, good, perfect, and healthy for them and their children. And that also means that any nation that comes and eats our food are guaranteed to have what kind of food? All righteous food. I'm not going to cook poison food. Now it means I won't make the money that some restaurants make. I will not make the shrimp money. Hmm? I will specialize in kosher meals. Good, righteous, holy food. Whale, lamb, goat, sheep, beef, fish with scales on it. Fins and scales. Only kind of fish you eat, fins and scales. If you eat any other kind of fish, you're going to be sick. So you have to quit eating shrimp, scallops, clam, oysters, lobster, cunt, crab, scallion, or whatever, whatever. All that stuff that's creeping and crawling down on the bottom of the sea. Can you eat catfish? Eels and squid and all that, all that stuff? You can't eat it. It's against the laws of Yahweh. Rap snake, all that stuff, you have to give it up. You have to quit eating cat. All y'all that eat cat, sorry, you got to give up the cat. You have to quit eating dogs and monkeys. You have to give up rabbit. Possum, squirrel, you have to give all that up. But it makes your body sick. You have to quit eating white sugar. Uh-oh, that's going to hurt some of you. That's going to hurt some of you with coffee, boy. They've got, got to, yeah. White sugar is poison to all the organs of your body. You stop eating all that sugar. Some of you eat little cups of sugar. The whole cup is full of sugar. Put coffee on top of it. Stir it all up in that sugar. Make you sick. It'll get you over the years, boy. It's going to get you. I can have to tell you the truth. The devil will teach you to eat stuff that'll kill you. And it'll grow up in your nation as culture, and it'll just kill you, that's all. I'm here to bring you the truth so you can quit being sick. Well, I have to quit eating that, drinking that. Praise y'all, you have to quit smoking too. Your lungs are not made for that. You have to quit taking drugs. Alcohol. That heavy alcohol, well, you have to quit drinking that stuff. That whiskey has got to kill you. Burn your organs up. Glory. Glory! You have to stop eating buzzards. All oh, you buzzard eaters, you have to quit eating buzzards. <laughs> Kite. <laughs> Crow. <laughs> the raven. And you, you, you can't eat those things. Ow! You have to quit eating now. Y'all have killed off almost all the condors, and they eat milk. <laughs> have to give up eating coyotes. <laughs> Otters and stuff, you have to quit eating those fellas. <laughs> Hallelujah, Yahweh. <laughs> eat like Yahweh said eat, and you'll be healthy. <laughs> Most, you know, it's some people eat rats. Yeah, I've seen it on y'all. I've seen documents. I've seen it. There's a whole nation of people. They eat rats every year. They, they collect all the rats they can find. 
and they fry them. I watch them eat the rat. I watch them do that myself. And they're funny looking people. You'd look funny too if you leave enough rat. enough cat and squirrel and pig, you'll look funny. Don't you worry about it. You will look strange. <laughs> Glory! <laughs> Don't look at me funny because you eat those things. You look funny because you eat them. <laughs> so if you commit sin, you are of the devil. It comes from. Read that again. It derives from the devil. Sin derives from the devil. Who deceived the whole world? How can he deceive the whole world? He becomes the teacher of the world. What you learn in the colleges and the schools don't bring peace. And it does not bring health. Even your doctors are dying from the same sickness that the people die. It, I mean, you should think about that. Going to a doctor to be saved when he's dying from everything the people die. Your doctors are dying from lung cancer, smoking cigarettes, operate on you with alcohol, be drunk. I mean, you are dang, I mean, you are foolish to put yourself in the hands of, of the devil to be operated on, and that sucker is drunk. And, and see, you don't know he's drunk, he knocks you out. I, I believe in acupuncture. Stick me with a needle so I can watch you while you cut. No, sucker, you better move that knife over a little bit. You're going too far to the right. See, I know you better touch my spleen. Hold it! See, I want to see what you're doing. I believe in getting operated on like the Chinese do it. Stick some pins in those points so I can't feel it, but I'm going to watch you. Never cut on my head and I can't tell you where to cut. No, man. So I want to see what kind of condition you're in when you come into the operating room. Nope, you can't operate on me. You are drunk. Get out of here. See, we submit to the night because we don't know there are alternatives. I'm here to teach you better so you won't submit to the devil anymore. They can do every operation on earth with acupuncture, repair the heart and everything. People never lose consciousness. Sit there and watch and talk and get on up. As soon as they finish, sew them up, get on up and walk on. You'd be sore later and you pull the pins out. It hurts where you were cut, you know, but at least you don't die from anesthesia. That's what, that's what you die from in most every case, is the anesthesia. So much for the truth. All sin derives from who? The devil. So why are people sick on the earth? They're deceived by the devil. How can you tell who the devil is? Now that's the big trick, isn't it? Uh-oh. Well, who is the devil? The devil are the ones who love to deceive you. The devil is the one who is against Yahweh. The devil is the one that loves immorality and teaches immorality and whose nature cannot be changed from immorality. That's the devil. He cannot be righteous by his very nature. The devil's makeup is indelibly wicked. He cannot be good. His nature, when he comes among good people, he can he can pretend for about a day or two, but he 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 just can't stand righteousness. Righteousness drives the devil nuts. It's not fun to the devil. Righteousness is not fun. So the devil creates things 
that he tells you is fun. It's derived from the devil. Isn't that something? Sin, the breaking of Yahweh's law, comes from the devil. That's where you learn how to get sick. Guess what you learn? You learn how to get sick. You learn how to die young. You learn how to be a nut. You learn how to worry. You learn how to be frustrated. You have learned. Satan has taught you how to be unhappy. Satan has taught you how to hate your husband and your wife. He taught you how to hate each other. Satan. He taught you how to be miserable. Satan has taught you how to be hungry. Deprive your mind and your body of all that you need to be happy. Satan has taught you how to die. They can teach you how to disregard safety and do things which is unsafe. He's been able to get away with it because the knowledge of Yahweh has not been in the earth. And I am come to establish the knowledge of Yahweh in the earth called the earth to become full. I have 11 nine. I'm going to have to bring this class to a end. You hate for listen to that. You hate for to end. Um, my job is to cause hurt, pain, tears, suffering, hunger, death to be wiped away. Read. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord Yudhewafe as the waters cover the sea. So the knowledge of Yahweh will destroy hurt. There'll be no more hurt, no more destruction in my holy government. The holy mountain means my holy government. In my government, all hurt the leave. There will be no more destruction. Satan will not be able to cause any more destruction ever again in my holy mountain. Why? Because when I call the whole earth to be full of the knowledge of Yahweh, Satan loses his power. How many would be glad to see Satan have no more power to cause hurt, sickness, and destruction? Well, that's what this class is about. To get rid of hurt, destruction, pain, suffering, sickness, and disease. So tonight, the one thing you have to do to get rid of your sickness, if you have any kind of problem, follow my teachings, my law that I have written in my book, Divine Dietary Law Book. So now I have blessed you tonight. I've given you a wonderful healing class.